Hello, uh, my name is Anne Naglo and I'm recording from Stockholm, Sweden, where I live. So today I wanted to shoot this video about reaching financial freedom by letting you go, setting you free from blockings, from negative thoughts about yourself and actually the personal freedom has to come before you can reach the financial freedom. This is a must. Um, there is no way you will reach financial freedom without letting go of all these things that's holding you back. You know, it might be a thought about not being good enough. It's very common that people think they're not good enough. And in that way, they will never ever reach financial freedom because how could you when you have thoughts about yourself that you don't deserve success so this is very important with the um, personal freedom and one way of doing it is um, acceptance uh, acceptance is not being passive I thought that many years ago I thought acceptance well let's just um, you know you just sit down and you watch everything pass in front of your eyes um, which is a uh, just a uh, stupid nonsense acceptance means that you see the situation as it is um, let's say you just discovered that you have some negative thoughts about yourself you're not really comfortable with all of your personality you might like some sides of your personality um, when you're capable of doing things, when you're producing, and when people like you, maybe it's um, sort of a split. When you're together with other people, then you feel contented, you feel satisfied with yourself. If you notice that other people agree with you and they sort of, they are, um, or they let you be in their group. Then when you're all by yourself, it might be that you start um, um, having all these negative thoughts about yourself. Um, and then you shift from being um, capable of self-esteem to a situation where you just lack the self-esteem or you lack the confidence in yourself that you need to go on and to take the steps necessarily to reach uh, the uh, financial goals that you've set up. So <clears throat> I used to be that way too. I used to be um, very dependent on other people's confirmation and we all are. I mean if I'm all by myself for two days, I don't talk to anybody, I don't see anybody, then I start feeling pretty bad. Um, and I need to be in touch with people I, either it's by uh, telephone you might com uh, communicate through email or Facebook or chatting in some other way Twitter uh, as long as there's somebody during the day that I'm in touch with I'm okay so living without confirmation of others is not realistic but when you get so dependent on others that you don't have any kind of belief in your own capacity, in your own um, ability of being able to take care of things, to produce and to move forward, to your, set your goals and, and just go for it, then it starts to become a problem. And those people who are are really dependent on confirmation from others they have a tendency also of sort of clinging to others all the time and demanding these confirmation and those are the people who have a hard time giving uh, instead if you have self-confidence self-esteem you believe in yourself and you're clear with the uh, things um, or the sides of your personality that you don't like 
and you see the, the things and abilities that you really like and you know this is how it is and we we are all humans and either you call it perfect i mean a person is perfect the way it is sometimes you act out the good sides in your personality and sometimes it's the bad sides and no matter what if you accept what happened then you have a good base for going on and if you want to change you can change uh, if you see okay this is how I am this is how I reacted yeah maybe it was accurate in this situation or maybe it was foolish and then I can do I can do better next time uh, accept it and leave it and know there is a possibility of changing if you wish or you just don't but the thing is what's sort of tearing us apart which, uh, the thing that starts an internal war which will stop you from every kind of success or every kind of goal according to relationships to economical success whatever is when you have a consistent ongoing war with yourself you can't accept the way you are maybe you have a demand for being perfect perfect every time and you should not miss anything maybe you're the one who who's accusing yourself when something goes wrong you can go on and accuse yourself for days and days and weeks over and over again those kind of things are so self-destructive and it doesn't lead you anywhere it just drains all the energy out of you and it leaves you empty and probably bitter you know how it is when you feel the whole world is against you you can just go very very bitter and that spills out on others most of the time maybe you have met the person who is just behaving so badly towards you and you haven't done anything to those and you just wonder what what was this about what have I done why is that person so nasty to me I didn't do anything I was just there yeah that's a problem you were there and that person had something else going on before you were there and then it spills out on you so you don't want to do that to others because that no one benefits from it and surely it will just hit back on you like a boomerang all right let's move back to a situation where you want to reach financial freedom so <clears throat> get clear get clear on who you are what are your uh, or look at you your um, qualities find find the gifts that you have I read some words about uh, from Picasso the famous painter from Spain he wrote the um, let's see the meaning of life is to find your gift no the other way sorry well let's take it again the purpose of life is to find your gift the meaning of life is to give it away and this is kind of interesting you know because you find your gift yeah or the gifts that you have every every human being has some kind of special quality and if they explore it they develop it it will always be beneficial you can always use it I've had really hard times sometime with um, my creative sites I want to use it and then I had jobs where I couldn't use it at all if I started to developing these qualities there was always somebody who just well had some objections if I say it mildly um, there were people you know getting on my back all the time for this and that and so on and this is how it normally is but then find a spot where you can develop these sides that you really appreciate the, these sides of your personality where you feel 
oh, this is me. This is the core of my personality. This is the exceptional me. This is where I am at my best. This is where I express myself clearly and I really have something to contribute to this whole world. Everybody can benefit from this and I'm sharing it. And if you have that attitude that you're sharing, then people will feel comfortable with you. They know that you're not demanding anything. You're not pitching. You just have something to share. And if there's something you want to sell, they will feel comfortable with you if you share instead of asking them to buy. That part can come later on. But in the beginning, they need to feel that you care about them and that you have something to share, something extra. If you just if you have a product, yeah, they surely want to know about the product and this and that. But first, the most important thing is that they feel confidence in you. They have confidence about your qualities uh, as a person and that you know what you're talking about. So, um, make sure and take a look at yourself and remember the personal freedom can give you financial freedom and the personal freedom always comes before financial freedom so if you want to be financially free work on your personality that will make you a great leader and that will attract other people to you so this is all for today see you tomorrow Bye. Hello, my name is Anna Nall and I'm recording from Stockholm, Sweden, where I live. Today um, I'm going to talk a bit about this starting out with some kind of new project or business and some of the most important things in order to achieve success. It's very important that you need to get clear. Why do you want to do this? What's, um, what's the reason? What's, um, what's running you in this? Or what's um, making you motivated in doing this? What is the goal? What, what is the, the goal you want, to, you want to achieve? And make sure and write it down. If you just think that, oh, okay, I have this way, um, I have this desire to succeed. Uh, why? Well, it's just the thought I have. Okay, then you will probably not reach um, that much of, of a success. And you might wonder why. Well, your subconscious has... A huge impact on your behavior and the subconscious it's it's sort of what's going on in, in Sweden we call it in the back of our heads which means it's not really in our present tense it's some kind of thoughts lying there and maybe they might pop up every now and then or disturbing us with thoughts the subconscious is about 30,000 times more influential on your behavior, on your emotions, your thoughts and everything than your conscious mind. So think about this again. 30,000 times more impact from your subconscious mind than from your conscious thoughts. This is why you need to feed your subconscious mind all the time in order to have this behavior that will go in the direction of your goal and your wishes. So if you set your goal and you get clear, why is this? I want to achieve this. Why do I want to spend these extra hours? or money 
working like this and maybe you just uh, work weekends, you work when you get home after having a full day, you're dead tired. Still, there is something that's driving you. There is something that makes you move. And the thing is, it's the thoughts about what's ahead of you, what you can achieve. That's usually the motivation. And you need to write it down and to read it twice a day or more. Twice a day, every day, even Saturdays and Sundays. Look at the most successful people. You can, I can guarantee that when they started becoming successful, they had a very clear goal. And a goal is different from a purpose. A goal that's very specific setting of achievement and with a date you have a set date when you're supposed to achieve this and that is a goal if you have like a purpose well you might say well the purpose of my life is to help others hmm? that's that's a very nice purpose you know, you want to help others. And in that way, you will also have your gift back. You will get a, a feedback if people like what you're doing and so on. So this thing uh, with the goal and goal setting is a number. It's the, it's a start of a new journey. That's a start of your road towards success. And in order to keep this going, in order to make your body do the movements towards this goal and all of your locomotion even the mental part and the emotional part and the physical part will be towards that goal then you need to be clear of why do you want to achieve this maybe it's um, let's say it's a um, hundred thousand dollars you want to achieve that and let's say within three months okay then you can calculate calculate it's about 33,000 a month so how are you gonna achieve it well maybe there is a way to do it and you can also tell okay that that's a little bit more it's about 11 uh, it's about um, one thousand one one hundred dollars a day so that's how much you need to get in income and then you find out how you're going to do it mm? then, there, then there are many ways but remember if you're going to reach your goal you need to set your goal see yourself reaching this goal see yourself visualize yourself so your subconscious will be fed with the picture of you reaching the goal Think about how um, all these people that um, sports sportsmen how do they reach such a good success well they visualize they have this mental training all the time they see themselves um, it, it, maybe it's a tennis player like you know Serena Williams why is she so successful well you know she worked with Tony Robbins it's one of the the greatest um, well personal developer I know I watch his videos all the time because they inspire me they keep me going they feed my subconscious with beliefs that this is possible I can do this and then I can see myself reaching the goal maybe it's um, something I want I want to um, achieve that that's a physical thing maybe it's a house it's a car it's a trip for my part i want to start a clinic uh, together with a with a doctor he's ethiopian and i used to live in ethiopia when i was a child so i want to start a clinic in ethiopia and i need lots of money from for this i need maybe well a million dollars in all 
but it doesn't have to come during one year it can take like two years but I need the money if I'm going to succeed uh, in um, buying all the property but then I can get some help from others anyway it's very important that I see myself in this uh, well first of all building the house where the clinic is going to be then recruiting the people I've already started the, to think about some people in Ethiopia that I want to engage in this and then there is this uh, Ethiopian doctor living in Sweden yes he was the one who started to talk about this clinic because he wants it too so we have a plan and I know where I want the clinic to be and every time I think about it I get warm and hot and some people say that your goal or you say your why if that n makes you cry then you've got it and then your chances of succeeding are much much greater than in if it's a goal um, like well let's see okay um, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars because I, I want to travel around the world it's so unspecific uh, it would surely it wouldn't make me cry but thinking about the clinic where I can work with these people some of the people are very poor and they cannot afford the medical care and there we could have children who come you know in Ethiopia they have like three million orphans all these children now they most of them are off the streets they used to be running around selling things uh, late at night eight ten o'clock at night three or four year old kids running between the cars selling napkins cigarettes chewing gum anything you know just to get a few dollars so this purpose of mine to help others it sort of crystallizes in this goal of helping people in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia and starting a clinic and then I can define all these things that I want I already know one physiotherapist that I want to get engage and I'm also a physiotherapist so I will pitch in and then I know we need some doctors and we need some nurses and this and that so make sure and get clear and surround yourself with people who are positive to your thoughts tell them about your plans it's very important very important when you tell people about your plans it sort of come alive and they take you for it if you are convinced that you will succeed so I tell people about my plans that will make it more real that will make it more alive and that will keep me going towards my goal and then it's you know you have your own choices to make and maybe some people are not so positive to you okay if they are close relatives maybe you need to see them sometime and if you have met some negative uh, thoughts and comments and, and this and that from some people just don't talk about your plans with them just show them by your actions you're gonna get this you have set your mind on getting there and you're gonna go there no matter what they think but never ever let people have an impact on your core goal never ever let people have impact on you and change your mind don't do that set your mind set your goal read it twice a day and visualize yourself reaching this goal and then just take massive action just go for it step out of your comfort zone I was so so uncomfortable with the thought of recording videos and now it's no problem 
it's taken me like five or six weeks from the time I decided uh, to record with videos until I started doing it actually but now I feel confident with it and I think it's fun I like it so remember the first time you do something yeah it's gonna be like when you started to have your first attempt in walking well which baby stands up and walks none none of them do it's trial and error and it's the same thing with business you start out you don't know enough things you don't know how to do it you need to model from those who are successful and you need to set your goals but do it just go for it so remember Get clear and set your goal. Read it twice daily.